Walk me through the way you help someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something. Food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack, fixes, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it, you reach across. Mindful meaning. You pull it through to this side, make it real here. And past that, the weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight, you are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to hear. Makes me a person. Calls me kid. A friend. Solus, bright and sad, observes and accepts. Spirit self, seeing the soul, solus, but somehow sorrows. It must be sad feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No. I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? I'll talk to you later. Probably. Old pain, shadows forgotten from dreams too real. This side is slow and heavy, but here is what can change. I'd like to talk with you about the Inquisition. I don't understand it. People talk like it's a person, but it's not even a thing. A dagger can be a way to let pain out, but even if it isn't, it's still a dagger. The Inquisition isn't real unless it has something real to make it. It's like a spirit. I've heard about some oddities here in the Keep. Was that you? Yes. Maybe. What was it? Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. Let's talk about something else. All right. Probably. Hey. I'll probably get dragged into a moment. Close all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Are you two playing nice? I'm always nice. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well, unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. And between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings. Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, my turn. 
All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We should spend more time together. I would like that. Me too. You said that. We should <laughs> finish our game, right? Is it my turn? I believe this one is yours. Well played. We shall have to try again sometime. the Templars, now the Grey Wardens, both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. We brought most of the Templars over. I thank the Maker for that, even if we were too late for some. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. I thought we could talk, alone. Alone? I mean, of course. It's a nice day. What? It's... There was something you wished to discuss. Cullen, I care for you, and... Uh... What's wrong? You left the Templars, but do you trust mages? Could you think of me as anything more? I could. I mean, I, I do think of you and what I might say in this sort of situation. What's stopping you? You're the Inquisitor. We're at war and you... I didn't think it was possible. And yet I'm still here. So you are. It seems too much to ask, but I want to. Commander. You wanted a copy of Sister Leliana's report. <laughs> what? Sister Leliana's report? You wanted it delivered without delay. Or... To your office. Right. If you need to... I'm sorry. That was, um... Really nice. You don't regret it, do you? No. Uh, no. Not at all. <laughs> um Was there something you needed? Do you have some time? Of course. The commander of the Inquisition and the Herald of Andraste. That will have people talking. Oh, you wouldn't believe how quickly gossip spreads through the barracks. Does it bother you? I would rather my... our private affairs remain that way. 
But if there were nothing here for people to talk about, I would regret it more. The day you kissed me on the battlements, how long had you wanted to do that? <laughs> Longer than I should admit. The time Dalish never bothered you. I hadn't considered. Elves weren't treated differently in the circles I served. I didn't think what it might mean to you, though. I hope that doesn't... I mean, does it bother you? No. If you care for me, that's all that matters. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. I'm not very good at this, am I? If I seem unsure, it's because it's been a long time since I've wanted anyone. I wasn't expecting to find that here. Or you. Alright, let's talk to Blackwell. There's a rumor that Corythius is in league with Elven forces. My lady Inquisitor, your efforts to restore our hubs of commerce have been tremendous. As is the gratitude of the tradesmen and affiliates. How are you doing? In this gilded fortress? How could we not be? Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. I'm told her wardens never wavered. They went to their deaths willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. I'm here. Let's talk about the Grey Warden. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid... Have you been hearing the calling, too? I know what Corypheus is. He has no sway over me. Uh... See? We're almost done talking to people. <laughs> We grab a, uh, a war table assignment. Inquisitor. Two and a half. I was grieved by the loss of the champion Inquisitor. Except where it wasn't, I suppose. Funny how effort and. How's it going? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? I think. I think I like. We are. All right, never mind that. I get a war table assignment for him. Probably can just not yet. Now, Barrack. Inquisitor. Clearly, we're very depressed. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? <laughs> Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant caste businessmen. 
They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfell. A delicacy, I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. Guild uh, traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but as usual, he was so far in debt he couldn't see daylight. So they went after Hawk instead. They sent guys from the local Carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They kick in the door, and Hawk yells, You're just in time, and drags them over to a game of wicked grace. They played two hands of cards before the city guards showed up to take them away. A couple of them became regulars in our weekly game. Hawk oh, just had that effect on people. I, I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. I guess I've got some letters to write. Carver should be told. Excuse me. Sorry, I really need to write some letters. Another time, all right? Inquisitor. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corythius. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of Adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corythias, but Tevinta, rightful ruler of every piece of ground you've trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. You are the worst of us. The damage you have done is beyond all reckoning. A major's crime, a major's punishment. Lord Livius Eremond of Arantium, I deny you death. Tranquility. You... You cannot! I am a lord, you pissant! I will not lose myself! Uh, let me reload that. Because everybody just screwed what I did. <laughs> I'm going to look this up real quick. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corythius. We found him alive, offering extreme... To say nothing of... Hold on. When can I make someone tranquil? Or I can do that damn war. Could do it now, but everybody will hate me if I do it. Oh, it's just one person I can make tranquil. Alex. Now I know why everybody would hate me for doing that. Like, even Blackwall hate me. If I kill him, get him what he wants. Oh, 
Let's make him tranquil. Oh. I think the, uh... Yeah, I think this... Yeah, all right. Lord Eremond, any protection you thought you had has apparently been withdrawn. You will die by my hand. Petty action. Truth lies in the next world. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrenders to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Act. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes. As if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Kill her. The Inquisition stands for faith. Our work has greater purpose. Sometimes we need a reminder. Sir Ruth, the Herald of Andraste forgives you in her name. Find peace in that. Your worship, I... I will try. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents. He confesses that, ten years ago, he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. If the mayor has anything to say in his defense, let him speak. There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood? Were no innocents caught in the water? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight. I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. The blight was your undoing. Let it also be your means of redemption. I give you to our allies in the Grey Wardens to fight Darkspawn until the calling takes you. I don't deserve the honor, your worship, but, but I'll do my best. So, I'm gonna do a bunch of war tail missions, and then I'll come back. Oh, I'll see you later.